He made $71,000 a year passively selling ice. You're watching Ice Vending, how one former tradesman made 71 k in passive income on ice machines, and how I'm looking at investing so we all can make money off of, who would have thought, selling ice. Boring businesses, let's do this. Today we're gonna talk about money. Today, in the next 10 minutes, we're gonna dive into ice vending, 25K to 71K a year profit. A play-by-play -play guide on how to profit of them, off of them, told by this guy, his name's Brett, wait till you meet him, and then how we're playing this market today. I think you're gonna like this segment. All right, I'm gonna call it like ice vending, selling ice to Eskimos. I think that's what we're gonna call it. bad boys before. If you live in the South, they're more common than a Dairy Queen, I guess. It's an ice machine. And these things don't just crank out ice, they crank out cash. I'm talking 25K to 75K a year. And that's not the best part. One of the things I love about this business is, do you see any employees? I don't. These are the guys that own all of these ice vending. I mean, don't I look like I just belong on this best of list? I'm just missing the jean shorts, I guess. But I, I wanna get to Brett. This is this is Brett, and this is his doggo. And I saw this online, and I just wanted to know this man's story. And it turns out, one man's retirement is another man's opportunity. And so Brett Gentry, is his name Brett Gentry, is from Mena, Arkansas. It's a little town, I didn't even know where it was. And his company is called G4 Ice Vending. He actually started it as a means of extra income. He'd been a, um, what do you call that? Like a lineman on electric utility companies for 25 years. And then he got married, you know, got a couple kids, got a dog. He says everybody loves his dog. Everybody seems to love him. You know, I get it. Likes to deer hunt, loves guns, just a good old country boy, right? And he was riding his Harley around and bringing his wife with her and just didn't want to do the nine to five anymore. He wanted to retire, but he still needed some money, right? And I just like watching all of this, I was like, oh, I love Brett already. Like I bet his dog is lovely too. I totally get it. And so he was looking for his way to get out of retirement. And he was thinking about a feed store, which for you city slickers, that's a store where you go for food and supplies for animals like horses and cows, etc. And the thing is, those take a lot of time. So he found ice vending instead. Let me tell you what happened. In a town of, I don't know, 500 people, with a local state park 10 miles away or so, he sells 900 bags a month on average. That equates to about $1,350 a month in revenue at $1.50 a bag. So he profits about $1,000 to $1,150 a month. Cool machine. Now he's got four or five of these bad boys, and we're talking about five to six K a month in dang close to purely passive income. And then I was like, I wanna be like Brett. So off I go in search of the same opportunity. And here's the simplified business model, at least as far as I can see it. You need a piece of land or to lease somebody else's. You need at least 10,000 car count, AKA people driving by. You need a water hookup, electric access. You need a water machine, place on it, that's pretty key. And then number five is you need cash flow. I've told you all along that boring businesses pay. Show me something more boring than frozen effing water. In fact, when you have this kind of business, you got what I call high margin, low people businesses. Let's see if I can figure this thing out. Please make a selection or press. $25K to 71K a year to have Please this make a selection happen. Or press coin return for change. Aga, por favor, otra and they tell me it in two languages. I kind of thought, how much money could I really make with these? And what's it going to cost me? So let's break that down. So, a good machine, they say, will sell 75 10 pound bags per day. It'll cost you 25 cents or so per gallon on the high end for water. That means you make about $195 a day or a monthly profit of, let's call it $5,800. 
That's a yearly profit of $71,000. How do I know this? Well, I used this calculator. You can use it too. There's a link below in the video. So if you're feeling like you want to make, let's be conservative, 30 to 71K a year, then we got to find the exact machine and the models to uh, use. That's the profit. But what are your cost of goods? What are we talking about on a net level? So I talked to a slew of owners and here's what I found out. First, crazy, but it doesn't cost that much to make a bag of ice. Thus, your margins are pretty wild. Utilities vary, but water and electricity typically cost about 25 cents per 100 pounds of ice. So a 20 pound bag of ice might only cost you five cents. Not everyone takes a bag, some have coolers, but for customers that use bags, each costs about 10 cents. So the cost of a 20 pound bag of ice is 15 cents. 20 pounds, 50 cents, 20 pounds, 50 cents. If you charge 175 for a 20 pound bag, your profit is about $1.60 per 20 pound bag. Look at what a 20 pound bag would cost you to get delivered in Austin, yikes. Or hell, even Sam's Club charges $2.28 a bag. So then I thought, okay, profit looks real. Cost of goods is pretty low. I got some margin to work with. The problem is, do I gotta be a millionaire to afford this machine? This thing looks pretty serious. Well, it turns out they vary. They're like 20K to 100K. Then on top of that, there's gonna be some on-site work in placing the machine. You're gonna have parking blocks or barriers installed around it. So the cool part though is you can finance these bad boys and you finance them with something called an equipment purchase. And you can do it with the actual vendor, like IHA, Ice House America, which is the largest ice vendor machine. The interesting part is if you finance that, a $35,000 machine that has a life of 10 years ends up costing around $300 per month. So you could buy some Lululemon pants. You could buy maybe three pairs of them, maybe two and a half, that's just expensive. Or you could buy an ice vending machine that cash flows. Let's add the additional costs. Okay, 300, month, uh, 300 bucks per month in capital costs. 300 a month in rent, let's say you don't own the land, you don't have like a ton of corners just waiting for ice vending machines to go on them. Maybe 100 per month in other permits uh, and sites that you have to have. Maintenance, repairs, and other costs, it's called another 100 bucks a month. So the profit of 160 after COGS, your break even point comes after about 14 to 15 bags per day. It can do 75, you break even at 14 bags. Even more interesting is at that number, the machine pays for itself in about two years, which is kind of wild. Okay, but we gotta make sure that we find the right site because it's kind of like real estate overall. The most important part is where you locate it because you need those 10,000 cars per day. That's a good starting point. You also need ingress and egress, meaning street level visibility, you can see the spot, and parking so they can come in, grab the ice, bang, 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 come in, grab the ice, bang. So you're, they're like usually next to like this one, for instance, high traffic locations, gas station, convenience store, dollar store. They also need to be freestanding and allow someone to drive up and fill up a lot of coolers because that's what you want. I would also read reviews and testimonials of varying machines. I like these IHA guys. I think I'm going to go with them, but talk to salespeople at each company and then go and talk to people who've actually used the, equip the equipment. Maybe try to find somebody from like Jersey because I think people on the East Coast will be pretty honest with you. And that make sure also that that ice machine company you buy from helps with maintenance. You want, you gotta keep these things clean. Otherwise gross, look at this. Look at what these looks like if you don't clean them out. We don't want that. Now, there's never such thing as a free lunch, but this is just another boring business that doesn't take a rocket scientist to create, but just might make you more money than the average rocket scientist makes. Look at, look at this. I mean, the average rocket scientist works 40, 50 hours a week and makes 66 to 172K a year. My ice vending machine could make me 71K a year and I work 10 hours a week on it. How about them apples? By the way, this is a joke. Take it easy. Rocket scientists, I see you pissed off over there. You're more important. I get it. You're going to the moon. You're going to Mars. I'm just giving you ice. But I thought this would be another fun way for you to cash flow the unconventional way. Until next week.